Good. Hello, welcome to Burnt Pines Plantation. You're here to bird hunt with us today. We ask that the first thing you do is fill out our safety sheet and guidelines and regulations. When you have, turn it to the last page where that you signed and please place it in our basket right here on the counter. And before we go to the field, we'll have a group safety talk outside. Hey guys, hey. West Chester, Burnt Pines Plantation. Nice to meet you. Good, you doing, all right. Hey, we're gonna go on a bird hunt today. We're gonna to talk about some safety in the field so that we can have a successful hunt. We can all go home and have safe today. Have you ever been quail hunting with us before? Oh, we have. Good, okay. Well, we're gonna go over to safety talk again today. Um, first little thing we wanna talk about is our guns. If I can borrow that gun from you right there. Yes, sir. The gun, you've got it in a good, safe position right there. As we're walking through the field, we wanna make sure the gun stays in a good, safe position. This right here, this gun cannot go off because it's an over and under and it's broken open. When we go to load this gun, the guys will tell you when to load up. We will turn to the outside, we will load the gun, come to a closed position, and let's keep that barrel in a good safe position away from the dogs and anybody else. So if you want to walk through the field with the gun closed, which is perfectly fine, we ask that you make sure your safety is on and walk through the field with the gun barrel in a good safe position, which is usually up in the air. Carry this gun in a good position. We want you to be comfortable, you know, over the shoulder, as long as the barrel is up in the air. You know, we don't want to get where we're carrying a gun like a suitcase, mm -hmm. barrels pointed toward our dogs or toward our buddy's knees or towards the guy's knee. You want to carry that gun open. I don't care how you carry it now. You can carry it like a suitcase because it's open and it's safe. When we get to a point, the guides will get you in position. So if you will, come right over here on this side of me right here. You come right over on this side right here. We'll stay maybe just a little further apart right there. Good, that's a good position. You always want to stay where you can see the guide's chest. So the dogs have come up on point. We've tugged, you're ready. You've opened your gun, you've closed your gun. You're in a good safe position. And now we're going to go in for the flush. As the guide steps forward, you step forward. Every step the guide takes, you step forward. Okay? We're going to go in and we're going to kick these birds up. Birds flush. You're going to shoot at the birds. Always making sure your gun barrel is above parallel. If your gun barrel is above parallel to the ground, you're safe. You're not going to shoot a dog. You're going to be safe. Guys, when we get a point, we may have two points. We may have a dog on point here. We may have a dog on point way over there. Make sure you know where your dogs are before we shoot. As a guide, I will let you know, okay, we have a dog on point here. We have a dog on point over there. So that if that bird swings that way, you know where that dog is and we're still good and safe. Also, when the birds get up, do not worry about that bird that's a low flyer getting away. We will go and find him. Do not take any unsafe shots. As a guide, if I know both of my dogs are right here and some birds go out that way and they're low and they're leaving, I may tell you to take that shot. That's giving you permission. That does not tell you that you must take it. We want you to be safe with what you shoot. So if you feel good about that shot, you can take that. If we know where our dogs are. If we don't know where our dogs are, please be safe. Make sure you know where the dogs are before you take the shot. Guys, we want to make sure that the safety stays on this gun until the birds are in the air. Once the birds are in the air, safety comes off, shoulder the gun, shoot the bird. As a guide, I can hear that noise right there. Please keep your safety on until the birds are in the air. Hunter 
on the left, you have everything at a 45 degree angle in front of you and everything to your outside. Hunter on the right, you have everything at a 45 degree angle in front of you and everything to the outside. Now we say to the outside because a lot of times these birds may come back at us. And I will hand you this gun back. As the guide, please do not swing through to me. It's a very unnatural thing to do, but if those birds come back between us, we ask that you spin to the outside, pick up the bird, and take your safe shot. You know, if you do happen to swing to the inside, which may happen, as long as that gun barrel's in a good, safe position, we're safe. We're safe. Only shoot birds that are rising or flying away. No low birds. As long as that gun barrel, again, is parallel or above, you're safe. You're safe. As soon as you shoot the birds, we ask that you mark the birds that you've shot. As a guide, we're going to mark the birds that don't get shot so that we can go back, repoint those birds, and get a second opportunity for them. Once all the birds are down, we ask you to reload your gun. There may be more birds in this cubby that we need to flush and get up. Once we do and all the birds are gone, we will go as a group. We will pick up the birds that you've killed. We will go as a group and pick up the birds that you've killed so that we're safe. We never want to split up this party that's when we get into a situation where we're not safe. Once the birds are picked up, we will release the dogs to go and find another bird, and we will continue to hunt. Any questions that you have with that? Pretty clear. Okay. Thank you very much. Before we get started, you're welcome to, to get warmed up here and, and shoot some skeet. Uh, we ask that you ear, ear, wear your ear protection here so that we uh, don't damage our ears. Whenever you're ready, you get loaded up. You are station number four. We've got five stations throughout here. We will call station four. That means it's your time to shoot. Whenever you're ready, you say pull. We'll throw the skeet. You shoot them up. Good. 